Shaquille says, can we go to a gym where there are both men and women? Well, Shaquille, if you analyze your question, you'll understand that women being there is not permissible. Are they, mashallah, wearing the abaya, full face veil, and working out? Of course not. They're wearing a sports bra and maybe leggings or indecent clothes, and they are posing in inappropriate pauses because this is the nature of working out in a gym. With men around them, this is not permissible at all. The men themselves are not appropriately dressed. And when you put the two together, it's like magnet. It's inevitable. There is attraction between the genders. And this is what Islam prohibits. Islam calls for segregation between the sexes. Even in the most sacred places on earth, even the masjids. Listen to what the Prophet said, He says, the best rows of men are the front. And the worst rows of men are the last. And the best rows of women are the last. And the worst rows of women are the first. So the worst from men is the last, and the worst for women are the front, because they're close together. And the best of men rows, and the women rows are the first and the last, because they are distant from one another. In a gym where music is blasting, and women working out in the best of physical form. And so are the men. What is expected? Sheikh, this is modern times. We don't look. We don't have any feelings. If you don't have any feelings, you've got problems with your hormones, my friend. Too much uh, 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 ostrogen in your bloodstream. You're not a real man. So definitely this defies all teachings of Islam. Sheikh, I lower my gaze. Come on. Do you expect me to believe that? Let's hypothetically assume that you lower your gaze and there's no temptation on your side. Can you guarantee that someone else will not be tempted by you? That no woman would look at you and admire you shaitan is there so definitely this is totally out of the question may allah guide us all